I'm a bad booktuber and I don't know the information before I start filming because that's the way it is on this channel. But it is... It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my April TBR for 2020. If you are new to this channel, then you do not know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR. It's like her fun little way to be a part of my channel and she always has a theme that goes along with how she picked the book. So this month's theme is get on the damn bandwagon. So without further ado, let us get started. So like I said, my mom's theme for this time around was get on the damn bandwagon. It's basically just super popular books that I have yet to read and I've been saying that I'm going to read them for years and years and I still haven't. So this month is the time that that is happening. So the first one that she chose is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. She originally wanted to pick Six of Crows but I told her that I'm pretty sure that you have to read the trilogy before you read the duology. From my understanding there's like similarities or like it's in the same world or something like that so I'm assuming you need this information before you read that. So also I wanted to read this first since the TV show is coming out shortly or I don't know if it is anymore. Who really knows in this whole pandemic situation going on? But yeah so I wanted to get this done before the TV show came out so that I could watch the TV show because I don't want to have to wait forever to be able to watch it. Next one she chose is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Funny thing is I've actually tried to read this back in like my second year of university which would have been like 2016 I think and I just couldn't get into it. I think I got like 10 pages in and then put it down and never picked it up again. So I have this book and the second book in the series. I don't have King's Bane or whatever the third book is. I don't remember. Don't have that one but I have the first two so we're gonna zip through them. Hopefully I'll actually like it better this time. I don't know. We'll see. Next one I'm actually really excited about because I got the arc of the second book as well so I'll be able to read the whole duology. I believe it's a duology. Tell me if I'm wrong because I'm a bad booktuber and I don't know the information before I start filming because that's the way it is on this channel. But it is Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Preto. The second book is Heart of Flames which I said I have up there on my dresser but all I really know about this one is that it follows like a phoenix rider and their sisters and they like fight against each other or something like that. I know that Reagan read this and really enjoyed it so I want to know if I enjoy it too. Like my mom said, jump on the damn bandwagon already. The next one is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. You guys have been telling me for like years now that I need to read it because it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and you all know that I'm obsessed with fairy tale retellings. Apparently it's super smutty as well so you girls here for that. You guys say that this is better than the Throne of Glass series which I've only read the first Throne of Glass book so I cannot tell ya if that is true or not but we're gonna find out maybe if we read this and then the rest of that series and then maybe if we eventually actually read Thorn of Glass series because it's been a thousand years since that came out. Next is another one that you guys have been telling me that I need to read because female assassins and also smut. It is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Honestly this book kind of scares me because I know that it has like footnotes in it and that's just intimidating to me but we're gonna do it for Mama G and her TBR so it's gonna happen hopefully maybe fingers crossed that I actually do what I say I'm gonna do. And then the final book that she picked out for April is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare because I finally finished The Mortal Instruments last year so it's time to start The Dark Artifices. Artifices? I don't know how to say that word but it's time to start this series. I also want to finish this series so that I can read Chain of Gold because I just like really need to be on that bandwagon as well so it needs to be done. Do I own Chain of Gold? No but that's besides the point. I also don't even own the second book in this series either so that might be a problem but I do own the third book so we just got to get the second one and then we're good to go. Alright everybody, that was my April TBR for 2020. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books, which I'm sure you have because they're all the damn popular books, and let me know what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!